Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Fluent Strings. Fluent Strings provide a more fluent object-oriented interface uh, for working with a string values, allowing you to chain multiple a string operations together using a more readable syntax compared to traditional string operations. Okay, there are many fluent strings operations. I am going to show you some of them. You can see here these are the uh, fluent strings. Okay, you can see uh, you can find it on Laravel 7 documentation page. All right. Let's see some of them. So first of all, create a new controller. So switch to the command prompt and here just type php artisan make controller and controller name. Let's say controller name is test controller. Okay. Now press enter. All right, now go to the project and just open the test controller. All right, here just create a function. I'm just going to create here public function index. Okay, and here just return a string inside the h1 tag just uh, echo not return echo okay and inside this h1 tag just type here the fluent string okay now create the routes for this so just go to the wave.php file inside the routes folder and here just create a route route gate uri let's say uri is to test and controller name test controller at the rate method name index okay now save the file and let's check so go to the browser and just type here localhost is 8000 test you can see here fluent string okay all right now go to the test controller all right now let's see the sum of the fluent string operation so here start with after okay the after method uh, returns everything after the given value in a, a string okay for example, I am just going to type here, let's say dollar slice is equal to str of uh, this is the uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay. These are the strings. Okay. And here. I'm just going to use after and welcome to okay and just print just echo uh, dollar slice all right just move on top all right Okay, just add here use illustrator and then uh, illuminate slash support slash str okay all right now 
now save the file okay this after method just return uh, everything after the welcome to okay it means it will return this string okay so let's check so go to the browser and just refresh this page you can see here my youtube channel okay all right now let's see uh, the after last method so just press here enter and after last the after last method returns everything after the last occurrence of the given value in our string for example just uh, type here dollar uh, dollar slice is equal to a string of uh, let's say a string is app slash http slash controllers slash controller okay and here method uh, is after last okay and slash all right and just print here equal slice here in this string there are three slashes here one two and three okay so after last method just return the this string because uh, this string because this is the last slashes okay after last uh, returns everything after the last occurrence so just return this string so let's uh, save the file and let's check so go to the browser and just refresh the page you can see here the controller okay now next method is just append the append method uh, the given uh, the append methods appends the given value to the a string so here uh, I am just going to type here dollar string str of let's say first string is hello and method append append uh, append with world let's say another word uh, string is world okay now just echo this string all right okay this uh, append method just append these two string hello and world okay let's check so just refresh the page and you can see here hello world okay all right now let's see the lower uh, lower method the lower method converts the given string to lower case okay so just here create another variable let's say dollar result is equal to str colon colon of and type here a string in uppercase let's say laravel and just arrow and method lower okay and just echo in this variable all right now save the file and just refresh the page you can see here laravel is now in lower case okay and now next method is the replace so uh, replace method uh, replaces a given string uh, within the string okay so for example dot dollar ref, uh, replaced replaced a string is equal to str colon colon of let's say a string is laravel 6.x okay and call the replaced method so just type here replace and replaced with a string let's say a string is 7.x all right 
now you can echo dollar replaced a string okay replaced the string now save the file switch to the browser and just refresh okay all right here uh, we have to pass to a string first is older string so just type here 6.x comma 7.x okay it means replace this text with this text and uh, isn't it inside the laravel 6.x string okay so now save this file and just refresh this page you can see here laravel 7x okay all right now another method is title the title method converts the given string to title case okay so let's see dollar converted text is equal to str colon colon of let's say uh, this is a sentence this is a title sentence this is a title okay all right now call here title method all right and just echo this converted text now save the file and just refresh you can see here this is a title is now in title case okay now let's see the slug method so here uh, slug method generates a url friendly slug from the given string okay so just uh, write here slug variable is equal to str of let's say the string is laravel framework okay we have to we have uh, we have to make this string into slug so just type here arrow and call the slug method and inside the slug method just pass here a dash okay now print this so echo dollar slug all right and just refresh here you can see here laravel framework okay all right now next method is trim so let's say trim method the trim method trims the given string okay so let's say the variable is a string dollar a string is equal to str of let's say a string is slash laravel and we want to remove this slash and this slash so just here i am call uh, i am call here trim method so arrow trim okay now just echo this all right and refresh the page you can see here okay inside this trim method just pass here uh, inside the single quote slash okay now refresh the page you can see here now slash are removed okay all right now let's see the upper method so upper method converts the given string to upper case so let's see go to the project and here create another variable let's say converted upper is equal to str colon colon of uh, this is let's say string in uh, lower case let's say laravel and convert it into upper case so just call here arrow upper method okay 
now just print here echo dollar converted upper all right now save the file and just refresh the page all right now you can see here the laravel text is in now uh, uppercase okay so in this way you can use all the fluent strings operations okay so that's all about fluent strings in laravel 7 so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching